Welcome here on our Ligna stage. So we are listening now to a lecture from Jose Matas, segment manager wood by Tomra Sorting. So from wood to resource, maximizing circular, circularity of waste wood and MDF with smart sorting technology. So the lecture is in English. If you need any translation, you can use our headsets in the corner. So enjoy and welcome Mr. Matas. Good morning. I want to start with a question. Have you ever wondered what happened to our old furniture when we, once we get rid of it? Today I'm going to explain you what is the process after it in order to give it a second chance. Okay. <laughs> so, this is a brief resume, resume of what we are going to speak today. I will give you a short introduction of who we are in Tomra, what is our value proposition, what we do, and what is the state of our technology that is being used nowadays in order to recover all this recycled wood. First of all, Tomra, in order to give you a quick overview of the company, it's a Norwegian stock-listed company working in three different areas. The startup of Tomra as a company was 50 years ago in collection by the invention of the first deposit uh, return machine in the world. So in Norway, we created this kind of machines that you put an empty bottle on it, an empty can, and it gives you a ticket. It's amazing that the first machine has already 50 years life. So we invented this machine in the, in the 70s. It was the startup of the company. And then after that, by the utilization of the same sensor technology that we have developed, we started creating different applications for all the other types of industries. We are nowadays mainly in three industries, collection, recycling, and food. In collection is this deposit return system. In food, what we have is different type of optical sorters that we use for the selection of fruits, vegetables, dry fruits, different types of products by the quality, the category, different types of sortings. And then inside the recycling, and this is the part interesting for today, we have different sections. We are global leaders generally in recycling with our optical sortings for waste, metal, wood, and plastic. Today we are going to focus on wood because we are in the perfect environment this week in Ligna exhibition. So Tomra as a company, Tomra Recycling, we are a global company with headquarters in every region in the world local teams that we are able to support our customers and the industry independently in wherever we are. This part here, we are talking about only recycling part of Tomra. And the interesting thing about Tomra is that we are not only a machine supplier, we are the developers of the technology. As you can see here, more than 20% of our employees works in R&D. We have our own developments, our own patents. That means the technology that we use inside our machines is our own development. We are, uh, since uh, 50 years, working for it, developing it, and this helps us to have the state-of-the-art technology. But this sounds very good, but let's see what is the real application nowadays for the wood, for the wood recycling. First of all, the circular economy. We are hearing every day about circular economy, about circularity, but what is really, in reality the circular economy in wood? So if we talk about the normal cycle of the, of the fresh wood, it is not really a circular economy, as you know. We cut the trees in order to get the raw material, the industry processes in order to create panels and different types of furniture that we use in our normal life. Once we have these products and once we get rid of it, then it's disposed and here the loops ends. There is no real reutilization of this material. So this is where it gets exciting and here is where we can support in the circular economy of this material. So once the material is disposed and in the natural wood, it's stopped. With the recycled wood, we give it a second chance. So we collect it from the disposal centers. We remove, so we separate this wood from the rest of the residues. We sort the wood by type, so every type of wood, every category can be used for different applications. So not only for energy, but for new products. These new products, we can create the feedstock and then the industry can produce exactly the same products, the same panels and the same furniture that they were doing with the fresh wood. But here, it's an endless loop, so we can do it several times. The wood is so nice material that we can work with it 
endless time of thought. And this is the part where we add the value in the shorting. So how to recover this waste and make a resource from it. So the process that we use is, first of all, as you can imagine, all the disposed material, you need to short it. You need to remove all the impurities, a lot of things that are not good and not good for the industry. So we do it by our state-of-the-art technology for it, with the X-ray technology that I will explain a little bit later. And afterwards, in order to be able to use every type of material for every application, we have a machine that we have recently developed using deep learning technology that is capable to decognize the different types of the material and to short it so we can give the proper application to each different material. I will explain this valuable position in two steps. First step, impurity cleaning. This is mandatory. So if we want to use recycled wood, we need to get rid of all the impurities. We use uh, X-ray technology in order to do that because the X-ray is the most powerful technology nowadays available that can be used for detecting between different types of material. In order to explain it in an in a easy way to understand, it's the same technology that we use when we go to the doctor because we want to do an X-ray radiography. So for the doctor, the important is to see the bone. The doctor doesn't want to see any part, any, anything else from the body. So in this picture, we highlight the bones and we make invisible the rest. For the wood recycling, we do exactly the same. So what we want to see is there are any impurities in the wood. That means if there is some contaminants that are not wood inside and we need to remove it for the production. So we do similar picture. We see, we make the wood invisible and after that, we highlight all the impurities. So for the machine, it's really easy to identify the impurities and short it out. The schematic principle is quite easy. So we feed the material at the beginning of the conveyor belt. Material is running. We scan it with the X-ray sensor, and this X-ray sensor gives the signal to the bulb block at the end of the belt what is wood material and what is an impurity. So here, you will see in the bulb block at the end of the belt, the material is dropping. The good material will be dropped and the bad material or the impurity that was detected by the X-ray sensor will be ejected into the second funnel. So after this step, we have a really clean material completely out from impurities. These are different kinds of impurities that we can take out from the X-ray. Plastics, metals, all types of inner materials. Everything can be removed and have a very clean fraction of wood. Here you will see in a very short video exactly what we are talking about. So you will see the real machine in operation. As you see here, all the threaded material goes to the machine. It's mixed with all the impurities. Then the machine here along the belt will scan it at this stage. And then you're going to see here the separation chamber where we are ejecting all the impurities out of the wood. So all the nice material will fall down in the first funnel. All these kind of impurities will be removed. So after this step, you will have really clean material that you can use again in your production. So, as I said that I was going to explain this solution in two steps. This was the first step. Here, after this machine, we have very clean material. We can use it for the production. No production problems because of impurities. No quality problems because of remaining impurities inside the panel. Then we have the possibility also to short this wood into different types. So after the shorting, we are able to use every quality for every application. How, how do we do it? So, Anyone knows how the deep, learn, deep, learn, uh, deep learning technology is working here? So let me quickly explain you. The deep technology, in order to make an easy comparison, is working as an, a part of uh, the artificial intelligence. And we have trained the machine in the same way that we will train a person to do the manual sorting. That means, for example, if you are the industry and you want to teach me to do manual sorting of the impurities, first you will come to me and you say, hey, Jose, this is the kind of material that I want you to remove from my, from my flow ship. So from my flow, take this out. Then I need to know why this material 
has these features in order to understand, in order to be able to identify it. So we are training the machine with all the different features of the materials, the texture, the thickness, the surface, the shape, color, all different features. So once we know how the material looks like, we train the next material. After we have trained all type of different materials that the, that the machine can identify, then it's really easy to make shorting groups. That means you know that in the industry we can face uh, natural wood, but we can have also all types of processed wood. Particle board, plywood, MDF, coated materials. So in order to be able to do a proper shorting with high performance, machine needs to know exactly all the features of the different materials. Once the machine knows all the features, then the artificial neural network is capable to identify it and to short it. So for the machine, it will be really easy. When we tell to the machine that we want to short between natural wood and all processed wood to do this shorting, but we can even tell to the machine different types of groups. So for example, we can tell to the machine that we want to short out together the, chi the chipboard and the plywood and short all the rest. It's like a human uh, manual picking operation. So the machine knows how to do it. You need just to tell the machine what to do, and the machine will do it. The schematic principle of this technology is similar. We feed the material at the beginning of the machine. Then we have the different sensors scanning the material. And at the end of the machine, the bulb blocks will sort out depending on the sorting task that we said. So for example, nowadays, it's important to recover MDF because of the new developments that are in place nowadays uh, to recover old fibers from MDF. With this machine, we can take out MDF further. Here in this short video, you can see what I'm talking about. We have natural wood on the left, processed wood on the right. So for the machine, it's really easy to tell it what to do. Then afterwards, we can use natural material for uh, MDF production, for example, and all the process material either for particle board or for energy application. So this is a great advantage because nowadays we are able to recover all the wood that before was just disposed and also to sort by qualities. So when we're talking about circular economy, the final goal is to reuse the material, not just to burn it. Of course, if there is no way, it's better to burn it than to do nothing. But thanks to the technology that we are using nowadays, deep learning, artificial intelligence, we are able to short the products by qualities. And thanks to that, you are able to use the proper quality for the proper application. That means product application, circular economy. All the rest is burn it and create energy. It's a still good solution, but come on. If we have the possibility to use it for new products, why not? And this machine is a very modular machine, so we are talking always about the artificial intelligence for doing this type of uh, product shorting, different types of recognition, but inside this machine, we have a modular system, so we are able to use different types of sensor depending on the real material of the customer, because we know that the material, the recycled wood that we have here in Germany is different from the one that we have in Spain or that we have in America or Australia. We have the possibility to implement, to use different sensors, and with this different sensors, we will be able to sort out with all the particular necessities of the industry. And finally, with this nice picture of a kid reusing wood, I want to remind that every time that we are recycling wood, we are not only giving to it a second life, but we are also saving a small piece of the planet for the future generations. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Matata. Uh, Matas, sorry, <laughs> for your yeah, interesting presentation and to having you here on stage. Are there any questions from the audience or the live stream? If not, yeah. So yeah. the microphone is coming. <laughs> Hello, Jose. Uh, please, uh, could you uh, speak about uh, the speed of this system, this way of working, the, the speed of the, of the system? So these both machines are developed for industrial applications, so mainly the production of particle board, for example. We know that this production is very exhaustive in, in the necessity of running high speed, high amounts of material. 
These machines, for example, we are running with the X-ray machine, capacity of more than 30 tons of recycled wood per hour, which is, <laughs> as you can imagine, a lot of material. Also similar with the deep learning technology, the machine is capable to run more than 15 tons per hour, this type of material. So we are running high speed uh, conveyors, more than three meters per second, and thanks to that, we are capable to run this high throughput that the industry is requesting. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so more questions? If not, we have a short break till 10.40 to our next lecture from Stina Moldrop to the SCR engagement with modified timber. Thank you. Thank you.